This next page is called the Job Hires page. Now, this is an important page because it's going to be used primarily by the classroom teacher as well as the secretary and the other students in class will be able to see when they're hired and even how much they make. Now, first off on here, how this is going to work. There's all these different jobs and these different amounts they're going to get paid. Well, how do you get a job in real life? You fill out an application. Now, there's several le uh, levels of applications you can fill out. Level 1 for primarily 6th graders, level 2 7th graders, and level 3 for 8th graders. And on all of these, you're going to have different things like they're going to fill in their basic information, the position, education and training, experience, skills and values, um, work experience, references. And with 8th graders, I even include in there a personality test to kind of get to know who they are. Now, depending on your students, you might feel like they're more capable. You can change up what they get to use. Now, let's say as you're going through here, you're starting to do your hires and you have someone turn their application. Let's say Johnny Appleseed's turn is in. You look through his things and it looks like he'd be a great fit for that job and he wants to be a secretary. So you come up here and you copy his name and by copying his name, you come back to the economy document and you can paste it right into there. Now if you're using Classroom, what's nice is that the names will be preloaded and so spelling errors are virtually impossible if you're just going from there. Now, once you have Johnny Appleseed, what's going to happen is you, as the classroom teacher, are going to print off the different paychecks for the classroom. What's nice with these is you'll be able to take and make an original copy that is written in pencil, and then you can print it at the library, double-sided, and then it'll be permanent for those copies that come out. And so this is like your base um, paycheck sheet. And the secretaries you later hire will also use this sheet. Now back here, so we get Johnny Appleseed, you go through how to write a paycheck, writing down the class that they're in, who the check is to, you'll put their job and then their name, um, what is today's date, um, and you'll usually with the today's date you'll wait until you've made that final copy each week to pay them for paychecks that you'll put that part on. How much is the check worth numerical form, how much is the check worth for word form, and in the memo you always write paycheck. And then the students are supposed to sign their name in cursive. Now that's the secretary um, or you as the classroom teacher. Um, and so with that, you will take and get your hires for your classroom. It's a great process. And one of those things is it's also a great way of teaching unemployment to students. If um, you don't have to have a job in real life, you still got to pay your bills. So um, that's the second video.